Hello everyone, welcome back to my craft room. My name is Whitney Lucas. I'm with Crafty Thoughts and Whatnots. And today we have lots and lots of roses. We also have a new craft room. Well, not new, but we bought some new furniture. I've built it slash installed it slash got a new table. I'm actually at a more comfortable height now, but it, this room ain't nowhere near done, guys. I just have to be making stuff. I can't put it off anymore. It's almost uh, Valentine's, and I'm trying to get some Valentine's stuff out to you guys. So um, I don't know how many are going to be in this video because I'm only recording this as I haven't even done it yet. So just recording my opening. So hello, everyone. I've missed y'all. Uh, you kept me good company on Instagram. Kept me good company on the community tab in YouTube. So thank you guys all for doing that and spending time with me and just let me know you're still there and letting you letting you know I'm still here. So uh, everything's fine. Legs better. We'll get into that a little bit later. And um, for now, let's just um, I just have a few roses, just maybe a couple. <laughs> it's not even all of it either. There's more up here. That this doesn't count. There's more over here. I'm dropping them on the floor. Aren't they beautiful? These are Dollar Tree roses, guys. These are Dollar Tree roses. So, we're going to do some Valentine's goodies today. So, um, I got two large pieces. Well, not large. One is very large. It's a clearance item. Or, actually, it was a damaged item that I got from Michael's. You guys will see it in a second. It's underneath all of this beautiful mound of happiness right here. Um, so, I'm going to redo that one. And then I'm going to do one other Dollar Tree flip. It's just a, a Valentine's guy. It, it's just basically we're going to take those piles of flowers right there and we're going to glue it all over. So let's uh, try to clear off a little bit of this space right here and we'll start to uh, getting this little guy taken care of. Alright guys, this here was in pretty bad shape. Now I've already fixed it a little bit before now because I needed to let the glue dry. This whole metal piece here had come off. It was bubbled up and then the whole thing popped off so I put this piece back on. It's just literally a thin piece of metal but it's this whole piece is one piece. I put that back on E6000 and if you can see under here, you can see a little bit right here. You see it's kind of yellowish, especially right here-ish. Um, it had separated from the border so I had to uh, do some wood glue and then of course I weighted it all down with some goodies so I knew that that wasn't going to happen. So. Here you can see the back of it. I got this at Michael's, as is. Um, I'm assuming because this piece came off of the staple. I don't know. It's got these two little uh, alligator claw thingies here, which I might take those off and save them for something else. I'm not absolutely sure. Um, let's see if I get this tape off here. Um, other than the cracks in it, I think, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably the only reason why they said that. You know, this as is stuff. Kind of. I think it's just a, it's just a photo holder, really. Nothing really all that special. Um, that was too much wrong with it. Um, I can staple this back, and you can see the staple holes right here. That's where it was stapled. Um, so it probably just had this for a hanger. But then it also has these two guys here. No biggie. Um, so if you can see right here, this was on January twenty seventh. It was for the non non the non. And I got it for $12 and fit a cent. Not mad at that at all. I'm not too mad, not too mad at all. So that makes me a little happy. Oh, you know what, guys? This isn't going to be good because I've got my glue pot right over where my supplies are. I'm still trying to figure out this layout, you guys. This is my first craft project in the new place. Or, sorry, in the new format, the new with the new table and all the new goodies and stuff. So... There's that, um, you know, I'll use a heat gun later and I'll get the rest of that off. That's not important right now. Um, so I'm going to have to try to figure out my setup because if you guys see over here, I got my glue pot here, I got my glue gun here, but then I've got my little guy over here and anything I grab from here, you know, could possibly take stuff and fall into the glue pot. That, that's kind of not going to be cool. So we will have to see. How I might end up having to change all this. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, so this is our as is goody goody. Um, I think I should probably staple this back. I kind of want to leave it the way it is. Maybe I'll put some beads on it. 
Yeah, I think maybe I'll put some beads on it because it's super cute at the moment before I staple it back on. Ooh, and I got a new staple gun, guys. Yes. Okay, so. Let me see where my beads are. Oh, I got this big thing of beads from Amazon that I haven't opened. But then I also have these Amazon beads that I also haven't opened. Okay, that one's back in back. This one's gonna be easier. These are all in my Amazon store, by the way, guys. There's no, like, it's not gonna be, like, crazy hard to get them or anything like that, but yeah. I've got two different ones. I think I got these all together. I'm not completely sure, but I have them in my Amazon store. I bought these last year sometime, guys. Um, all these bundles of the little beads from Amazon. They're absolutely amazing. I think I'll do that. So, um, I didn't really know how to really approach this one just yet. It's not like it's crazy, um, you know, difficult or involved. I just didn't know what I wanted to do to it. But I knew when I saw it that it needed me because I needed it. And that's probably because it was so clear and stuff that I couldn't help it. <laughs> this thing's injured? Okay, perfect. I'll sew its leg back on. <laughs> Let me find my new staple gun. Where did I put it? Here's my thing, guys. I organized everything. Now I can't find anything. Am I, am I happy to you guys? No, I'm talking about. Where's my new gun? Alright. Here we go. I got this pretty girl off of Amazon also. Got a new staple gun. Hopefully I won't injure myself using it. Okay, so. I'm going to take the end of this twine because I'm going to use it. I don't want to. I don't want to not use it. I'm just going to put some tape right here on the end of this guy. I got some new lights too, guys. I got a couple of ring lights. I've got a lot of new stuff. Probably more stuff than I should have got, but whatever. It's the new year. Although the New Year's already started out for me with a bang. A bang of me having to go to the doctor for my leg. And also that was right when everything, all my furniture got delivered too. So it's like, guess what, Whitney? You know how you wanted to build all that stuff and you wanted to get your craft room all pretty? <clears throat> nope. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's too small. Or it's too big to fit. Can I shove it in? Get to a certain point. Can I twist it more? I'm going to try to just twist this and stick it down further. Yeah. Alrighty, tidy bowl. I'm going to put some beads on it because I want it to be coot. I don't want it to just kind of hang there and look kind of bleh. But honestly, at this point, you guys, I think I might just take it off. And honestly, use only one of these, or either or, and then kind of hang it on the wall crooked. Yeah, there we go. I talked myself into it. Sounds great. Okay, good idea, Whitney. <laughs> there we go. Solve that problem. <laughs> Anyways, so, okay, beads, we'll scrap that idea. But I do have a project I'm going to do in the next video, guys. It's going to have beads. It's going to use these exact beads. And then also these, sorry, I couldn't help it. I bought these on Amazon also. Look at these cute little felt hearts. Oh, my goodness. Little felt hearts. And lots of, oh, oh, and felt, felt balls that are flying everywhere. We're going to... We're going to bead these on with beads and, beads and felt balls. It's going to be so much fun. Anyways. Oh, here's this. I haven't used it yet. But look how pretty she is. Bam. This thing's going to do me some real good. We're going to use her. And it comes with gloves and all kinds of stuff in here and a staple remover. But this thing does pins, U-shaped staples, heavy-duty staples. It does a lot more than just my little baby gun does. And it's also got a... Um, tension knob on it so I can really really do this with some good because I bought some painter sticks guys and we're going to do a little bit more 
building than uh, my little crafty heart had done before. But oh, I want to. I want it. And I can't help it. So, in any event, we'll use that again someday. <laughs> or we'll get that out the next time. We'll see how it goes. So, back to the front here. So, I've got three of these little clips here that I guess you would normally put. Yeah, that you would normally put pictures on. But I'm not going to pull them off because if you see on the back, they're kind of like a solid metal piece here. So that's going to leave a decent sized hole. I don't know that I'd be able to pull them. They almost look like a grommet on this side, but on the other it's not. I'm going to leave these in and I planned on only using one. So we're going to try to get some flowers going up on this way. I also might add some ribbon as well. I'm taking this. I call these magazine boogers, you guys. These little, this little sticky stuff that they put the things on magazines or addresses. So they've got these pictures stuck down with what I call magazine boogers. Give me one second, guys. So I'm going to take those out. Now this one was bent pretty bad. I bent it back. So other than this piece and that coming off and that, another, I mean it had very minimal damage to it. So I'm not angry. Again, 50 bucks down to 1250. I'll take it. This thing is huge, guys. I mean, it's 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 fairly it's a fairly large piece, man. It's about 19 inches wide and about 18 inches. It's about 18 by 19. This is almost like a 20 by 20 piece, guys. This is a very decent size, and it's like the perfect heart shape. Ooh, I love it. It's so cute. So also my other idea was I'm going to take this Valentine here, and then maybe just clip it. Clip onto it like that. I think that's super cute just like that. Maybe I'll glue that down here, but I want to see uh, what we do with flowers. I know I don't want to just fill the whole thing in. And again, like this Valentine thing here, this is a package you get at the Dollar Tree with all these these metal pieces that you get. Um, Love, XO, XO, and Valentine in these, little, in these little bags here. So that is my first idea. So I'm going to grab flowers and we're going to just glue the, the, the ever-loving light out of them. Now, Dollar Tree, I got these right at the beginning when Dollar Tree brought them out and I couldn't help it. They were gorgeous. I don't understand. Not understand. It's not really an understand kind of thing. It's more of a uh, where have I been living under a rock kind of thing because I just didn't know Dollar Tree could get stuff this pretty. I didn't know that's per possible. So, I thought this was a really pretty gradient of peach. If you can see, we got dark, light, and then a cream. And I thought, you know, a Valentine don't necessarily always have to be pinks and reds, guys. We can make it just as beautiful with darker colors. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these off. I'm literally just pulling the buds off. I'm saving the stems because there may be a need for me to use those later. Those are the leaves. So that's two. And I just kind of want to see how they lay down in here. Because I don't want to have to cut anything. I literally just want to glue them down. But it looks like I may have to cut some of that stem off there. You can kind of tuck them into each other to hide stuff. So I'm going to cover up these two clips, just so you guys know. I'm leaving them on here because if there's ever a time where I want to come back, I can pull all these off and then basically probably just paint this or you know whatever, but I'm going to leave these on. I don't want to put the holes in the back and I don't want to have any kind of other issue where, you know, I might need it. I could always use these holes that are here in these clips to, to wire something in. You never know. That is always an option. So... This is my idea. Plus, I, I wanted to see how fast this would go because, yes, I gotta get to crafting. I gotta get to recording. I just, I gotta do it. I need it. And I wanna go at a diagonal. Also, where's my thing? Uh, what I wanna do, remember I showed you that Valentine sign? I'm gonna put that in here. Just preliminarily. 
I'm clipping it under on by the T. Because I really do need to cover all this yellow wood glue that I put over here on this side. That's just not pretty. That's just, that just ain't, it ain't right. So let's see, maybe four of the dark. Because we're going to want to cover this up up here on this side. And I brought some of my um, eucalyptus, or what is this, eucalyptus or boxwood? This is eucalyptus. Uh, I got this off of Amazon. This is also my Amazon shop under uh, Project Supplies. All right, so that's four of the dark. So let's see. Um, we're getting kind of dangerously close to my V here. But let's see how pretty we can make it just with a few of the white peach. Tuck those in here. Tuck that in there. looking a little ridiculous or is it looking kind of cute this was the idea well as soon as i saw this at michael's I was like i am gluing so much pretty stuff to that just you wait that is my new purpose in life i must glue beautiful things onto this okay so you see the dark and then now you've got the light peach which that i only had four of that's all that they had there was the light peachy ones so then here are cream ones. They got a, I had a bunch of dark peach and a bunch of cream at the store by me. Then, of course, I go to the other Dollar Trees near me, and they're just chock full of all that good stuff. And let's add just a few, kind of like another little border. <clears throat> Maybe even a couple up here. like the best way to clip it but it doesn't really make sense to do it on the other parts of it because it just doesn't look right I was about ready to pick this up to look at it and then realize that'd be a bad idea <laughs> that'd be a really bad idea Also, I can also glue these in like super close and get them a little bit more tighter to each other. What do you guys think? I kind of like it. I'm digging it just a, a little bit. It's not like one of those things you guys can tell. I'm not like, yes, it's not like super exciting me yet but I also think it's because I don't have the flowers glued down yet once I get them in, a, in tighter bunches I think that's when it would actually make me happier but also I just wanted to get an idea of how many I might need I knew I had enough trust me I bought enough on purpose would have been one of those things but let me take these off and see about just tucking one in here and there It almost might be too harsh of a green. Maybe I should do eucalyptus. Like a softer eucalyptus, you know what I mean? I think this is like too harsh of a green. I have some softer eucalyptus. I just gotta go grab it. Let me go grab that real quick, guys. I will be right back. 
All right, guys, so there's the eucalyptus. This is also off of Amazon. I purchased this one to get a refill back. So you can find these guys in my um, in my Amazon store. I honestly can't remember what I paid for them. But you got, I think, 12 or... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Probably 16, 8, 8, 16, maybe 16 of them. And I think, like, this one might be just... Just try to feed it in here and see how it looks like. The eucalyptus is better because it is softer, but it's just that's just too big. Um, so I would probably need to cut it up and just kind of tuck a leaf here and there. I think I like that a lot better. The other green was just way too harsh. It was just way too harsh. It was too bright for this pretty little arrangement. So, of course, there goes my flower on the floor. Let's commit, guys. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying. Let's let's get started. What else is on the floor? No, oh, one of them came off the bottom of the roses. I guess we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So let's. Uh, Let's just start gluing them down. I don't want to cut these pieces off because I'm, you know, truth be told, I'm just lazy. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to hold the bud and kind of dip it into my glue pot on this side. So I got a decent amount of glue on that side of it and I'm going to lay this one flat down onto here. And then I'm going to probably have to hold it for a little bit. down and I'm just going to do like a little assembly line here so I'll hold this one then get this one in there and get set. I'm getting glue on the side too not just that long stem part because part of that the issue there was that there we go yeah see they need to they need to touch each other can you guys even see how I'm doing this it's a learning curve here guys we'll see how this works out right now my table's full of crap so I still want stuff thrown in, falling in the trash if it's not supposed to, so we're going to put these here. So I'm going to put glue on this side. Well, maybe this side's flatter. We'll get glue on here, on this side of it and then also on this piece. Now, if, I, if you cut too much of these off, this whole rolls will fall apart. And I'm not trying to sit here and glue every layer and every petal back together. That would literally just kind of negate the... Uh, convenience, necessity, and ease out of this entire project. So that's my reason why I don't want to take this too apart, but I am putting enough glue on it so that it's touching in, in all those different spots we want it to. So all I'm doing is just making sure that I'm tucking them into spaces that they want to be in. So they kind of like look like they're naturally kind of, you know, sitting together. But then I'm also purposefully, you know, pull up, we're going to pull up these petals here before we place the next one down in. So that you're literally, you're tucking them under is what you're doing. The first one I put this way and the rest of these are kind of like tucking them under themselves. I don't want it to look too uniform. I want it to look like it's kind of like a little growing trellis wall heart shaped Rose happiness. But getting them down so that they're getting glued in the right places. So I'm going to start just kind of picking them up, throwing them down, picking them up, throwing them down. Which I'm doing this the wrong direction because I'm right handed and Like way easier to. All right, let me throw my peach ones over here. Peach, peach, peach. That part. Peach, 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 peach. Cream, cream, peach. 
orange, as my mom would say, it's orange. Actually, they're all peach, but, you know. Lighter, darker, lighter, darker, however it needs to be said. So if you can see exactly what we're working with here, this is what the row we're working on right now. And these bundled up roses, even when I put them at the register, even the girl at the register was like, wow, those are pretty. I was like, I know, huh? Who'd have thought? Thanks, Dollar Tree. Y'all got y'all got your stuff together so far. I mean, everyone's been saying that, too. A lot of people keep saying, oh, my God, uh, Dollar Tree's your game is on point. I'm like, yeah, but sometimes it's not, you know? A lot of stuff is just, eh, which is why you got to put, we got to put a lot more work into it to make it look nicer. I, I mean, I see that, but again, I mean, I'm not like crazy everything Dollar Tree. You guys know that. It took me a while just to even get back on the Dollar Tree bus, which when I found out about them pumpkins, that's when I had to start reevaluating. Like Whitney, you almost missed an opportunity for pumpkins. I'm like, oh, I know. Shame on me. What is my problem? Those Dollar Tree pumpkins were cute. I mean, they're ugly in their regular state. Don't get, don't get me wrong, they are absolutely horrid. But that construction orange yellow, or orange yellow, construction orange, it's like a neon orange. Who does that? Okay, I put this one facing this way in. So I am going to have to like glue another one like right. Actually, I'm going to stick this one in right here because I had a big old blob of glue on that. So I should be able to use those two together. Yeah, and these guys are staying down good too. This is like a particle wood, but they made it, they put grooves in it to make it look as though it's like a shiplap, whatever that popular word may be. That word everyone loves. I want to look shiplap. My favorite popular word is farmhouse. Oh, guys, I got this stuff. I mean, I, see, I got so much stuff. I didn't. I haven't shown anybody anything. I got a little sign from Hobby Lobby that says farmhouse-ish. <laughs> I live in the desert. I live in a big city. I'm definitely not anywhere near a farm. Now, I would love to have been. I would have loved to have grown up on a farm or around farm or farm stuff. So I'll just do. I like the sign that says farmhouse-ish. Makes me happy. All right, guys. So I might have to put some more glue in my glue guy because I'm like picking it up off the thing. I'm kind of mushing these flowers down in there. So this is two rows of the darker ones right now. So it might work out just fine. So pretty. I like the fluffy, fluffy, fluffy flowers. Also, guys who live in areas where you have real flowers, not like what I have are basically desert weeds that I have flowers on them and then you get excited about them because it's a flower. Um, yeah, you guys have to treasure those for me. It is a gift to be able to have those kinds of things just grow wild. I'm like, no, oh, those are weeds. We pull them out. I'm like, you pull them out and you do what? We throw them away. What did you just say? You throw them. Take it back. How dare you? Take it back. You didn't mean it. So let's pull it this way so far. All right, so that's two rows on this girl right here. Two rows of the dark orange or the darker peach. And so actually, this might be easier for me to go in like this. I'm going to work on it this way. Well, you guys can't really see, huh? If I work on it this way, I can pull them up and tuck them in like that. Pull up, tuck them in. Pull up, tuck them in. And so we're going to put the, the light ones here now. Get a row of the light ones. And then do just a few of the white the cream ones. The light peach. So we got the dark peach and the light peach. You see, I hate this right here. This is where you can tell they're fake. I mean, everyone knows they're fake, but can you see that right there? It's got like all those little stupid holes in it. I hate that. I hate it. I'm going to cut it out. Because honestly, I'm going to cut the, the petal just so it's rounded. It's still there. It's obviously much shorter, but it's better than nothing than leaving that in, in my opinion. I hate that. I'm going to glue that side down. Anyhow...
Let's just do our row of light peach. Let's see if we need to add more than just what I have here. I kind of was able to tuck those darker ones in a lot closer to each other to get a lot, you know, if you see, I see a lot tighter of a, of a, of a close, a lot tighter of a couple rows. So if we need to do the same thing, we'll see how this goes. I love it. I love it. Also, I was thinking of, of ribbon, too. I, I might want to just pop a bow kind of like right here in the center of all this. Just make it so pretty. Um, actually, I might even wire it into one of these little guys. So I may put a bow over here, but then I've got Valentine here. I'm not sure. Also, because this is so flat. I definitely want to leave, like... an open space so you can see some of this this I, this way this is printed on here it's already like distressed and weathered and gorgeous so why not let it work for us right I mean sometimes you're like yeah let me paint the whole thing like no let it work for you you know this one was one of those things where it's like I got I got it for twelve fifty. now that's not exactly a crazy good deal if you're looking at like dollar store type of budgeting but it's a crazy good deal when it comes to the quality. This is already pretty much done for you. I mean, I, I, lo I, I love the, the coloring on it. I didn't, I mean, the, the silver at first, I was like, eh, I don't really have the silver. But then after I'm looking at it, it's already distressed too. So it, it looks like it's already chipped up. It's perfect in my eyes. She's perfect in every way. Leave her alone. Alright, so I got two peachy girls there. Mm. I don't want to take away from like the the heart itself, like I still want you to be able to see this portion of it. So I could even just do something like, whoop, nah, 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 quit messing with it with me. See how these colors are just kind of, oh, it's so pretty. I mean, and I'm, I'm still floored that this is all Dollar Tree stuff. Now, see, I got, I got glue on my thing. Oh, good, good, good. It's coming right up. Little glue strings. Little freeloaders. I have to do more because I got to cover up my clip right here. And I got a clip in here. close to the V here but again I can resituate it I'm, I'm not going to take it away I'm not moving it just yet but I'm also I'm still putting my ooh although nothing says I can't like make it crooked oh that's so cute <sighs> all right so you know how you guys, I'd said that I'm not at the point where I'm like, oh, it's so cute. Okay, I just, I just hit there. I just, I just got there. Because it's so, so cute. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
just turning that little word crooked like that, that diagonal. I like to say diagonal. I like things that diagonal. Uh, my mom would say catty wampus, kitty wampus, uh, crooked, diagonally, diagonally. I love things diagonally. Everything is like if it can be at a diagonal, I want it. Like I love bay windows because those windows like sit on the sides are diagonal or they have like a just an angle to them I like k kitchen islands like that I'm just that's like my favorite thing is putting things crooked or diagonal I just I can't help it I like it I like it a lot so I have a couple peach ones here that I didn't use off of the original but I got this whole side covered that makes me happy now should I put more oh, I like these Kind of get it to look like it's coming up off of here. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's put this one in. Like a Put a peach one there. push down in there. I mean why not? I've already pulled it off of the off of the thing. So I'm just pulling that basically pretty much to the other flower. So there's a peach one right there. A light peach one. Oh jeez, I love this. Alright, so here's my idea. Let me show you guys what we got so far. And I'm gonna take this eucalyptus and I'm gonna try to get it so this is what we have so far of our beautiful girl. So I got my gradient flower roses and I'm loving every second of this, loving every second of this. And I believe I am going to probably, probably just glue that down as I see it, make it like, you know, put it's like, it's like clipped right there like that on that. I love the way that looks, that Valentine. So I'm going to use that clip to my advantage. But my other idea is I guess we'll just have to pull these off pull the stems off and see and tuck them in one at a time uh, only reason oh, yeah yeah we need these eucalyptus this by itself that's too big for me in, in my opinion it's just, it's just way too big it's way too large even tucking that in in certain places so the best thing to do is just kind of take the eucalyptus off and use them Use them by their stems. And even this guy here, it's got like a double piece in it. So I literally just pulled them all off of their stem. And just to show you, here's an idea. Let's just tuck them in here and there. And they have such a heavy, uh, heavier piece, like on the bottom, the, the the plastic there, that I can just glue them in. But honestly, I might end up clipping them and just gluing them. Yeah, I think it adds just enough. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. Look at that. Look at that. Now, you guys might like it before. I have to have green and everything because I think green makes everything purdy. Do I add a bow is my main question. Do I add a bow to these pretty girls? There you go. Yeah, 
guys see that so far? See, does it look like it looks dark over here, doesn't it? Jeez. I might have my lights too hot. I'm not sure. I've got so much stuff everywhere. <laughs> Should I rip apart another one? Is it too much? I feel like this was just too too little. Like there's not not enough to it. Like I should add something else to it. Okay, let me just add my eucalyptus in here now. I gotta have to glue these in because they're not gonna stick any other way. Concentration of my eucalyptus here in the middle of there, and I'm gonna put a bow right there. One second, let me go look for some ribbon inspiration. I'm definitely probably gonna put some burlap in it. No, I'm not gonna put buffalo check in, guys. I'm not that crazy. Well, I'm crazy, but not that crazy. Okay, one second. Alright guys, can you see my jumbo roll? This is from burlapfabric.com. I bought that. They didn't send it to me. This is mine. I bought this because I love their burlap. So, giving them credit for it, trust me, even though um, they sent me, oh, you know what? Where did I put that ribbon they sent me? Hold up. It's gray, but it's super perfect. Oh no, look at that. They sent me this. This I they sent me this when I'm to use. This this is perfect. This is pretty. Alright, rethink here. I said, do I want to put a convert? No, I don't because that's a different gray. This gray is pretty in here. It looks really good with the galvanized and this steel here too. Alright, so we're gonna rethink this. Okay, hold up. I'm definitely using that. It's not wired. So that's okay. I mean this would look pretty too. But I'm definitely gonna use this just now. Let me let me just open it and see. Yeah, I mean, isn't that pretty with it? Might be a little bit too dull. I think this one's more bright and springy. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to get back in the groove. You know how you feel weird because like all of your stuff is like all over the place? No, I like this one better. I like the brown with it. This gray is pretty too. Gee, I don't know. I'm going to use this. Hmm. 
They sent me this and I didn't get a chance to use it yet. This one is very, very pretty. I will give them that. I like, I mean, of course, I picked it out, but um, they sent me some supplies to use and I loved it. I just hadn't had used it on yet. I love the way this looks, but I need to add something else to it. So it's like I want to put like a fluffier. That's why I thought the bigger burlap from them would also work too. It's a different color than the burlap roses they sent me. So. I mean, that's pretty. Just like that too. Those burlap roses from them with the eucalyptus on top of the other roses. I don't know what to do. I think it's really pretty. And it doesn't need ribbon like that. What do you guys think? This ribbon is gorgeous as well. Um, yeah, I think I like this the way, that, yeah, we're going to do this. I'm not going to put the big burlap in it. I'm just going to put this in it. Okay, so I'm glad you guys were here to help me through that. <laughs> I was going to put some stuff back this way, back here, back here. Alright, so these burlap roses, burlapfabric.com sent me a while back. I put them in a, I, I used them back in the, um, Christmas cone type thing. I used them for Christmas. I had leftovers, and I think they look really great in this. It's very, like, it's just very delicate and pretty and just, I don't know. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is, I got some Dollar Tree pearls. I'm going to stick some pearls in here, too. But with this eucalyptus, isn't it gorgeous, guys? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Glad we're, glad we agree. So, let's do a bow. Now, we're only going to do a very simple bow, okay? I'm going to glue my eucalyptus in first. Let me get this one. I just cut that pick in two pieces. And I'm going to kind of just lay it in here. Get that one nice and flat. Touching on there. So touching down onto the thing. I want to make contact onto, onto the piece of um, the, the backer board. And then this one I'm going to glue. Good amount of glue. I'm going to kind of smear it on that pedal. So I can glue the whole thing in like that. And hold it for just a little bit. So now I've got... This is a half of a chenille stem pipe cleaner, little wire, fuzzy wire thingy. So that's the other half of one I made a bow with it before. I like using the neutral colors when they match things. I try to match my stuff. I hate when I see a completely weird color with it. I know sometimes it doesn't show, but it still drives me crazy. So I'm going to take a decent... I don't ever really measure things, guys. I just kind of hold it. So this will be your tail. And I think that this looks good for where I'm going to place my bow down in here. So I'm just going to leave the tail there and I'm going to gather my ribbon and pinch it in my fingers. Then I'm going to just grab another piece further down and pinch it also and just look how big of a loop I've created. And then kind of, you know, put that in the project say, is that too big? And I think this is a perfect size bow. Okay. So then what you do is this is one side of ribbon and you take your piece and you twist it. And then what I do is just, it's a kind of like a muscle memory kind of thing. You, you feel for it. Like I know that I have to pull this way and then bring it back. So I can tell you one thing. You see, these, these loops aren't exactly even. But I also don't like things to be that even. Nothing I make is symmetrical. And I'm fine with that. So then I grab that, pinch it. Then I'm just going to bring that piece out like that. And I'm going to cut it longer. And I'm just doing a two-loop bow. That's really all it is. That's all it is. So, then I'm going to take my, where I'm holding everything together, and take my pipe cleaner, place it on top. You can hold that with your thumb. Push them around to the back. Now, I've let go a few times, and because this ribbon's kind of stiff, nothing's really coming crazy undone. Some of my gathering, the pinch and stuff is kind of like not as pinched, but it's a very stiff uh, ribbon. Uh, I'm seeing because of these white, white lines on it. Uh, so, 
I'm going to just take the pipe cleaner and I'm going to twist the living daylights out of it. Twist in the night away. I know I said that before. Apparently it's an inner space day too because the other day I was singing that other song in from inner space. I know you guys know which ones. Starts with Cupid. Cupid, draw back your bow and get copyright striked. Alright, so sorry if I'm out of frame. Just pinching these in half and then cutting it the wrong way. Love that. Here you guys, the real human side of crafty thoughts. <laughs> Anyways, I do that all the time. Pinch it in half and cut from the folded side out. There you get your dovetail. Not your backwards special. Dee -dee -dee. Yeah, sorry guys, it's my first time. You sure you want to watch this YouTube video? <laughs> so here's my little two loop bow. It's nothing like a huge Christmas bow or anything like that. It's just a two loop bow and it's handmade. So that means it's special. No, not really. So I'm, I left this piece of the stem on here about maybe like an inch long because I'm going to kind of bend it this way. I'm going to bend it down. See? And I'm going to take my, my uh, hold, I'm gonna hold it like this and I'm going to put it in my glue pot and glue, put the glue all in here. Or you can put your glue gun and just hold it and put glue on it this way. And then I'm going to separate everything out and I'm just going to tuck her in just like that on that side. Okay? So let's see. I'm going to hold this away so I don't get glue on everything. And see how much I can dip, dip, dip in here. Dip, dip, potato chip. Twist all that off. Got a decent amount. I'm not sure if you can even see it. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to just nestle it right in between all that. It's touching flowers. It's touching eucalyptus stems. It's touching a little bit of the backer board because I wanted it to. And I'm just going to hold it down and let the, the glue, dry, you know, let the glue cure, <laughs> cool off and cure because that's what we want. We don't want it to pop up or come off. That's absolutely horrible. This made me so happy, this bow. Oh my goodness. I still have another uh, another thing to do after this, guys. There's still more. Wait, that's not all. There's still more. Now, where did I put my thingy? You know the thingy? Here it is. I save all this stuff, you guys. Cause I, I wrap my I wrap my ribbons back up because it a little bit of a neat freak. Kind of drives me insane when your ribbons are like all unraveling on themselves. Pins don't work for me. I don't like putting holes in some of my ribbons and I've gotten stuck too many times to count. And that tape is pretty much almost not sticky anymore. Right, I can do this later. I don't know why I'm making you guys like to do that. Alright, stop. Okay, so now here we're going to put this one here. Kind of flatten that out a little bit. And then maybe put this one here. Should I just do one? Too, but I'm going to have to put some more eucalyptus in here. I think that would make me happier. Try to twist these pieces so they face the right way. I'm twisting them on the actual plastic stem. I definitely want to add two of them. I'm going to use my glue gun for this one this time. That is super hot. I can see the steam coming right off of it. 
don't burn yourself with me. Bam. Kind of glued a little bit, one down solid, the other one kind of on top of the other. So you're just kind of gluing them all. I just, I love this. This has turned out so awesome. Okay. There's the end of that. Here's my Dollar Tree bills. These are probably the right size. I think these pearls will just look really pretty in there. That's too big. So these are the 80 count 10 millimeter pearls. Okay. Which also means they're going to get everywhere as soon as I do this. And I want to make sure that I glue them so that you can't see the hole in them because I hate when I see that. Yeah, that really finishes it. The little pearl in there just kind of just kind of sets it off. So I'm going to use my little tweezers here. Yep. Knew that was going to happen. Let's see if this will work. I usually use buttons. Like I use these for buttons. And it usually works out pretty well. So let me put glue down in the middle of that rose. Yes, and then just tap that pearl down in there. I don't like when you can see the holes on them so you know they're beads. Kind of kind of looks bad to me. So, you guys see the little pearl in there? Doesn't it just finish it off? I can hear things avalanching over here on the side. I'm going to put a glue right there like that. Alright. And just nestle it. I'm, I'm pushing it down deep in there. Yeah. There we go. I love that. I love it. I love it. Now. I know that this thing doesn't really it doesn't work well I know with hot glue the hot glue tends to cool off before you want it to so You guys, I think I'm not going to do it because honestly, if you like hearts and you like kind of like someone's like French country, what would you call this? French farmhouse country design. You could switch this out with hello or welcome. And it means hearts don't have to only be for Valentine's. This peach color is really pretty. Let me show you this other one that I have. Oh, these are much bigger. I got these at Hobby Lobby. And let me tell you, they are not as, they're not a dollar. So this one was $4.29. I didn't pay that. I got half off and $4.29. So, I mean, I paid $2.15. So it's not that bad. It's also a much heavier metal. So, like, even though we're doing this for, for Valentine's, we can take that one off, switch it out. And I could, I could clip this one in here like this. And look at that, the hello looks so cute in there too. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna glue it because then this little clip makes it versatile. And you can put different things in there. So yeah, I'm not gonna glue anything down. We're just gonna use this clip as it is intended. So, the rest of the year, if we're gonna leave this girl the way she is, you could always purchase, oh, I got glue on my rose here. You can purchase different little metal signs. Or you can even still put a picture here. You could do anything you want, especially if like this, if you if you know anyone who's getting married. So I'll leave my Valentine crooked like that. I 
love that these little pearls in here. I love this. This turned out better than I thought it would. It was not my plan, but I love how things work out that way. What do you guys think? What do you think? All right, so that makes me super happy. Super, super happy. Isn't she gorgeous? Look how gorgeous. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, guys, so we're going to prop this up here. Now, here's another thing. My back wall here behind me. See this girl right here, this wall? I wanted to set it up so that I could put all kinds of stuff on it and hang things here so you guys could see that while I'm working. And so I have my wreath on here too. So look how cute this dragonfly is, guys. This dragonfly is so great. I love it. Um, so I have a wreath on it right now. Now, had I made that other um, beaded thing, I could hang it here just like this. And that's just maybe physically how it would look gorgeous like that. But like, I don't have anything now. I need like a nail. Because my idea was to just leave it with these little hooks on the back. And then if you hang it just by this one, then it kind of just hangs like this. So it would hang on the wall crooked, but Valentine would be straight. That's how I want to hang it, but I would need a, I need a nail. So I can show you. That's how I want it to hang. So it looks really, really good, but I don't have a nail. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, let me clear this off and we will start on our second one. And then we'll see if I can even get my act together to figure all this other stuff out. Okay guys, one second. Also check out this wreath. I made this like four years ago, isn't she pretty? Again with the colors, <laughs> can't help it. Oh, just makes me happy. All right guys, one second and we'll be on to the next project. We're gonna use these girls right here. Okay guys, second project here is pretty much, pretty much all Dollar Tree except for I have these wooden beads from Amazon and then also these eucalyptus from Amazon, both which will be in the, my link in the description and the comment pinned below. You can find those under project supplies. You'll see the uh, wooden beads and then I think it's either a 12 or a 16 or 18 pack of this guy here. These are great. So anyways, very basic, very rudimentary. What I'm going to do first is three sets of roses from the Dollar Tree. These ones have kind of like a yellowish tint to the middle. They're really pretty and then it looked really good with these. Now these darker pink ones, I couldn't find that many actual rose roses. So then I have like, these are smaller roses because obviously you can tell that these are bigger, these are smaller. And then these are actual like rose buds, but it's all the same color. So we'll see how all that lies on this guy here. Now see, this guy comes off of this Dollar Tree sign fairly easy. Um, so what I plan to do is, I'm just going to take this tag off. Okay, yep, there the tag goes off. And we're going to just string on the Dollar Tree beads first. And since it has its own little hard piece there from the actual way it was made, I'm just going to string these beads on as they are. I'm not going to stain them, I'm not going to paint them. I like them in their natural, pretty way. So I'm going to feed all these girls on here. the bead on there. I mean, that alone already changed it to where it's super cute. See, just adding those wooden beads to it. Okay, we're done. Call it a day, guys. Again, Amazon beads, guys. Check out my shop every little bit. I get a little, little, little bit of commission from that, so it all helps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen beads on there. That one is nice. So what I'm going to do is take this off, this love uh, symbol, sorry, symbol, this love sign here off. 
And this is just a spackle knife I got at the hardware store. I even got a dollar tree. I don't know where I got it, you guys. This little easy little spackle knife. And don't even worry about the paper that came up because we don't we don't care. I don't know if I can get this off the back of it without damaging it, but let's see if I can. Okay, I was able to peel that one off. Now what I need to do is I'm going to use the uh, Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks. You know, the little the game the game blocks um, because I need the I want to put this back on top of my flowers when I'm done, but I'm going to need it to be raised. You know, so I'm going to use the blocks and I'm going to glue it to the blocks uh, vertically. And um, that way I can um, get it to have some height over everything and it will stick up above it. And I have a feeling it's going to look real nifty. I have a feeling it's going to look real nifty. So that's my idea. Just want to see how I can execute it without ruining this girl here. Just getting most of this glue off because... It wasn't that good glue, but they sure did use a lot of it, eh? flowers on I kind of want to put it back on top you know I gotta put it like we discussed before at a diagonal so save her off to the side because we are going to use that again now this is the real easy part all of our flowers do the same as we did before and my plan is to just take them all off and glue them down. So I'm gonna start with my dark ones first and do an ombre type thing like we, I mean the other one was ombre but like more left to right ombre. On this one, we're gonna to need to um, we're gonna to need to do the same thing. Now again, I don't wanna to have to clip these things off. So let's just see how it goes. Let me get one of those small guys here. And get a little little tri tri corner rows. Little corsage going in this bottom corner. And then just work from there. I'm just putting the glue on the side and the end. And I'm going to take it and tuck it down underneath. Now this one doesn't have much room for air. Now the other thing that we made, by the way, I have it hung. I don't know if you guys can see. Look. I went and got a nail. And then I pounded it, found it. What are the chances I hit a stud on my first try? Whatever it was, I got those chances. I should be betting. Um, so anyways, I uh, put it in a stud and I painted the nail. So whenever I take her down, you'll see like something little like rendered underneath the dragonfly. But anytime I have anything hung up there, you won't see that nail. But in any event, I now have a nail and a hook. And then those little hooks up there. So in any event, look how cute it is. Isn't it cute? I love the way that the valentine is straight, even though we're, we're hanging it. I mean, I purposely hung it crooked. I love that. Because remember, it was intended to be straight. But I love that. So, 
artist interpretation. It works for everything, guys. All right, back to our task at hand. Now, see, I didn't hold that one down like I should have. That's a jibber jabber. So now we need to add some glue. Give me another little short baby rose. And we'll hold this one down. So this one, we're going to have to hold these down a little bit more than the other ones we've planned on. And now this is just a paper on top of a... I mean, it's part, it's cardboardish. It's like a thicker cardboard. I mean, I wouldn't even call that particle wood. I don't know what you'd call that. <sighs> Just don't call me late for dinner. Right? Hey, 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 hey. These uh, rosebuds don't work too well unless I cut that end off. And I remember I said I didn't want to have to do that. I'm kind of lazy. It doesn't, you know, see, it doesn't really matter much because. You've got to really load it up with glue anyways to get it under there. Now also, the glue in my glue gun is like super mondo fabulous hot. And of course, I went and ate dinner. So I turned everything off in between my last project and this one. So I didn't turn my glue pot back on. And my glue pot, you know, obviously it gets really hot. So then when I'm dipping things in... When I'm holding it, when I pull it out in order to, you know, kind of like separate it, I take things and I do like this real quick in a circle. So as I'm doing this, it's getting the strings, it's disconnecting it, but it's also cooling this off that's on the actual the piece to a certain degree that once I put it on something, it doesn't take as much time for it to wait for it to cure, for, it, for, it, for wait, waiting for it to cool off because it's um, pretty much cooled while I'm trying to remove it. This glue on my glue gun, on the other hand, is like super mondo fabulous, burn your flesh off your bone, kind of hot. And trust me, I have burned my flesh right off my hand before uh, with different glue gun. Now this one, this glue gun's got two settings, which you can find in my Amazon store if you too would also like to burn the flesh from your hands. Um... Now, don't get me wrong, I love this glue gun. It's yellow and black. It's ugly. I don't care. I love this glue gun. Um, she's made me very, very happy. And, um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, the other glue gun that I did that on. Now, see, it has two settings right here. I got a 60 watt and a 100 watt. Now, I've turned this 100 watt on just to get it to like kind of, you know, heat up faster. And then I've forgotten about it. Bad move. Bad move on my part. Let me tell you, it was not a good idea. It almost scared me just now talking about it. And then I felt something on my finger. Like liquid hot magma. Yep, stuck my pinky finger right in that. See that, guys? Oi. Took me a minute to realize it, too. I'm like, is that hot? Did, is that burning? It's burning. Yeah, that's it. That, yeah, burning flesh. Mm -hmm. Okay, Whitney, pull back. <laughs> How many of you guys did that? Stuck your finger in it. Took me like. Took me like five seconds to figure out what was going on. That might just be nerve damage. The fact that I've already pretty much removed all feeling from my thinking fingers anyways. That's probably what that was, huh? Alright, well I'm done with the rosebuds. Those are kind of annoying. What do I got left here? Stripe here. Oh, oh. Okay, closer to the ground means picking things up isn't so annoying. So that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, guys, sorry about that. But certain things have to be handled right away. Anyhow, so 
what I'm going to do is oh, keep dropping stuff on the floor. I'm just trying to see if I want to add more to like around this side, kind of make this one even on this side. I'm going to do that one just right down here on this bottom part to get just the point, the pointy end of that heart to look a little uniform-ish. Okay. So I think what I'll do now is um, start on these girls here. So that's our next color in line. And they're just really pretty with their um, kind of yellow centers, a little pink in the middle. Alright, so that's two bundles. So let's see how this goes. Pretty good. Let's just see how this goes. Again, hot glue, hot glue gun, a Berber, Berber, Berber hot. So I'm gonna keep running these guys. Just a band of glue right on the side, lifting up some petals and kind of tucking it in just like that. Just putting a row in here. If they pop back up, like that one's kind of popping up, uh, I'm just holding it in with my hands. Just going to hold it in and let it cure. So let's just do this row. And then... Let me speed this one up along. I'm sure this video is gonna be long enough, Whitney. But let's let's just see how it goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my love sign in now because the rest of this is all just going to be like white flower. I'm going to come up, I need to come up with another couple over here like this to make it even on each side. So i got another two roses to put on there because then the top two little heart spots, this will just be white and the white, well not white, but whatever, the, the really pretty like yellowy color, but it's not really yellowy. I mean, it is yellowy, but it's a pretty yellow. See, that didn't burn me. It's just sticking to me pretty bad because I stuck it down too close to the edge. And I'm just trying to get this stuff off my fingernails. this stem out. I'm going to stick this girl right there. Yep. I only had one left on that little bundle, so why not? Mm -hmm. I got one of those petals with the stupid 
stuff on it. I hate that. Those holes. Okay. So I'm going to do this now since I have the room I'm able to see and then I'll put the rest of my flowers on because I kind of want it like right here. So one, just see how many of these I need. These are the little, uh, the game you can get from Dollar Tree, the tumbling tower box. I'm going to use these to uh, give it some height. I think maybe four of them should do. But let's see how they get down in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The little wooden block sticking up out of there just right. It gives me exactly what I need for that. So it's kind of just like I need to get them situated in a way where they won't, you know, show too, too much. Right, so that's good right there on that one. So I'm going to put a bunch of glue on the bottom of this piece. And then I'm going to put it right back down in there where I had it. got distracted by glue on my glue mat which is what it's supposed to do is catch the glue Whitney but whatever something's up with me because um, painting it any other color is just going to make it blatantly obvious like painting it white or any of those other colors would probably not really work out too well just going to use hot glue and see how quickly I can get the hot glue. I'm going to put the hot glue on the blocks instead of on the metal piece because when I put anything I try to put hot glue on these little metal pieces, they for some reason it just cools off so fast that it's just like crazy ridiculous. I don't know what it, what it is. It's just the cold the cold um a little bit. So let me show you real quick. We have a block here hidden through the edge got another block right here hidden block here and then a block here so these are the four pieces the four blocks I'm going to glue our sign to actually this one's in the wrong spot Let's see if we can make it work. I'm 
going to leave glue off of this one for now because these ones are like super important. That heats up that metal real quick too. Just trying to pull those pieces away and down and pull that glue off of there like that. I don't want it to be that obvious. Also, I can glue like another flower kind of like under here like that. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Kind of stuff it right under there like that. So the petal kind of the petals kind of cover all a little bit of that up. Now my last block I put over here, I kind of wanted more onto the arrow part. So let me try to just pull this off, which it came off pretty easy, which I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> okay, so that one needs to go more there. Which will be on the actual like paperish part of the wood, not necessarily on the... Petal. It was on a, a fabric pedal before, but again, if you're not given this thing, like, you know, this is not an outdoor project to begin with, but it's also not something that, you know, you don't want to play football with it or go slam dancing, you know what I'm saying? That heats up real fast. So that way my pedals are kind of just still free to flow around them. So now all I have to do, there's a little sign back on top. So you guys saw that we were using our tumbling tower blocks. I only used four of them to uh, bring those girls up to give it a you know rise off of the off of the piece, and I think it looks amazing. Still, probably gonna place a couple of those girls in there once or twice, one or two or three or nine. And let me see, is there another spot for this somewhere? See, like with this, I'm putting one that's like kind of just like a display one. I'm going to glue it to the other same ones like it. So this is like the one of them that's facing up. This one is facing up. The rest of these have been like tucked into each other. So I've got a couple that are facing up. Again, with this horrible, horrible little... Just trying to cut it on a curve so it doesn't look so bad. Cutting off those little weird holes. Saving your stems. Don't forget to save your stems. Oh, I still had another one of those. Okay, good to know. So there's those. Oh, and if I never said anything on that first DIY, guys. Um, the first one, the little Valentine's thing. Uh, the Valentine uh, Big Heart ball piece that we did. Um, I used eight stems total for that whole thing. trying to see if this thing, let me hold up and look at it, it's acting up, it's hopefully it's still heart shaped I think, <laughs> I hope I, when I get done this is actually still shaped like a heart, I'll be heartbroken, heart broken. <laughs> no pun intended, pun intended, however you want to do it, I'll be pretty sad if you can't tell it's a heart when I'm done, because this was supposed to be like the super easy one, like oh it's a heart, yeah cool it's a heart, yep you're done, <laughs> let's see how it goes, I'm going to put another stick of glue in here, and let's get to gluing down these uh, little white cream colored ones.
All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of these. This these are a richer color, so this re this green actually looks fairly very good with it. So, so I'm going to add a few around and see how we can make it look pretty. So I'm going to do like let's see how many we got here. Also during that little piece there you just see like right when i first started putting them white ones in i burnt the absolute hello hello out of my finger yeah it's not entertaining unless you watch someone burn their flesh from their bones like liquid hot magma and then you ask yourself why do i do this why do, why do i do this and then you think because it's pretty Y'all think power tools are dangerous? Man, yeah, I work with a glue gun. Just saying. Sure, you could lose a finger. But that's like a that's like a quick thing, you know? Like, you cut it off, it's there, it's gone. You know, you go into shock. But you burn your finger. A burn from liquid hot molten glue. Like, how hot does this stuff even get? I have to look at it. This is like crazy just tells you how many volts it is and hertz 100 to 240 volts 50 to 60 hertz hz is hertz right guys hertz hz anyways if you're still here with me thank you by the way i appreciate all you guys more than you know more than you know yeah i love the, this color in here this color is like it's just the the pop of this light light green and it goes from like dark to light. It's it's a really pretty color. Um, for me, in my opinion, this is like perfect for this these colors. I love this. Yeah, I'm just putting a blob of glue right here on the end of this piece here, and I'm kind of letting it fall down towards it. Bloop, there's a blob. See the blob? And then you let the blob kind of blob downwards. And then I'm just kind of finding a part in the petals and I'm just sticking it in there. There's enough glue on it that it's going to, you know, find its new home. And it'll stick to the petals, the plastic, possibly even down into the, you know, that the, the pegboard and stuff in there that you, not pegboard, um, the backboard down there at the bottom. If you're finding it and you're nestling it in a certain spot, you know, it'll find its new home. No worries. Um, and also, this glue is so hot, it melts this plastic. And then, of course, that sticks to everything else on like a molecular, molecular level. Molecular. Kind of like what it did to my finger on a molecular level. Molecular. See, let me pick this up. Pick, pick this up and look at it. I think she's so cute, don't you guys? Maybe just like a few more little greenies. Uh, maybe concentrate them in a couple areas to see. I'm just going to put these in here preliminarily. Let's see if I can concentrate them into a specific area. If it will. Uh... Change my view. So I'm going to put three in this spot here. Yeah, I'm going to group a couple of them. So. This one I already have down here established. I'm going to put two more by it. We'll see that in a second. Careful, 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 Whitney. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I think a little cute grouping of these is, is working out for me better. What are all these glue strings from, man? I mean, I know it's my glue gun, I'm just saying. Where are they coming from? I don't remember you guys being here. Also, I can't find my little sticks. I know you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but I have these little sticks I'd saved. I have to go find my drunk drawer. So I got a group in here. Maybe I'll put another grouping up here. I'll put two on that one. So, of course, guys, I'm going to have to fuss around with the angles and the lighting and everything to find a good spot again. But I'm really liking my new little space and area. I'm liking this whole setup. 
Uh, the lighting's a little weird. It's kind of dark on this side. I'm going to have to look for better lights for my ceiling fan. I got two ring lights. I got a 10-inch one that ended up being like a way off brand kind of thing. I don't know where I'm going to put this guy at. Alright, no. Let's loop three over here and then I'll do a two grouper like on that side somewhere. There's a group of three there. I love this. I love this. I love it so much. You don't want to do the two there? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. There we go. I'm very, very happy with this. Very happy. Oh, this is so cute. This is my first time like doing like Valentine stuff, guys. Specific Valentine stuff. What do you think? Oh, look how cute it is. I got we got a new little beaded guy here, which is very, very normal. Uh, not normal, but very, very um, not custom. It's just we are we took the existing. Um, hanger and we just put those wooden beads on it so our back is still very pretty and nice and you can possibly put some you know reinforce this with more hot glue maybe take some you know spare ribbon and put that over it because this is just like that regular twine and that little piece of plastic here they threaded through but even then we did not add much weight to this this is very lightweight so what do you guys think so those are our two hearts all right so let's pan up and look at our other girl that's on the wall still. Look how pretty she is. And now again, the lighting is not that good, guys. But at the same time, it tilts what it tilts. So there she is, and there's this one. Aren't they amazing? I think they're so cute. I love them. 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 Let's see. Can I hang this one up here like this? I can, but it looks ridiculous next to that one. So. There's our first girl we made, our main event. You see how pretty she is. She's so pretty. I'm trying to peek at it in the wall here, see what you guys can see. Here's all my extra roses. You see my extra roses down there? I may have bought just a few. Just a few. Not many, but just a few. So there's that girl there. She's gorgeous. Look how pretty. Oh, I love it. I'm very, very happy. Very, very happy. Remember, this one I made a long, long time ago. Long time ago. This is just a bunch of pretty flowers, but that's old. So, this again, Dollar Tree we just glued on top. A uh, damaged item from Michael's that we re-glued the Dollar Tree roses. So, basically, two, two sets of Dollar Tree roses turned out absolutely gorgeous. Loving every second of it. All right, guys. So, I want to say thanks, everyone, if you're still here with me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending time for me. Thank you for being patient for... The last week or two where downtime, building time, organization, trying to get all this stuff put back together. But thank you all for anybody who has donated or purchased from Amazon from me. Um, I get little commissions from Amazon that every bit, little bit helps. But I also opened something called coffee. And I've gotten quite a few cups of coffee. So thank you to everybody who's done that. I appreciate all of you. Some of you have given me more cups of coffee than I will ever drink. <laughs> coffee, if you don't know, I have it uh, linked in the description and also in the first comment below. It's basically a website where you can go and buy your favorite crafter a cup of coffee, which means you're basically going to donate three, five, eight, ten, twenty dollars, whatever you, whatever your heart desires. You could donate to me to my cause. Basically, helps me contain, um, maintain my channel, keep buying supplies, and um, keep these things going. 
So um, quite a few of you have donated already and I'm just blown away by it. The best thing is about uh, coffee, um, like I know I've done Patreon in the past, I can feel my heartbeat in my finger, you guys. I can feel it. I mean, I know I'm alive. I guess that's good. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Um, coffee doesn't take any fees out of their donations. Patreon did. Patreon started uh, taking larger fees. Larger fees. And I'm a patron of other people. I, I support other um, creators. And I'm paying taxes on my donation now, which is very strange. I'm donating to a cause. I guess because it's not a charity. I don't know. In any event, um, Patreon's just changed to the point where it no longer fits what I desire to do. So, in any event, um, I discovered coffee. K-O-F-I dot com. K-O dash F-I dot com. Look for the link in the description. It'll take you right over to my coffee page. And it's been absolutely fun. Um, there is also a section on there where I can sell, so I'm looking into that as well. Uh, I know I have not had an Etsy shop for a very long time, and a lot of you have been asking me if I'm selling my creations. I would love to list these things, and I would love to get rid of a lot of the stuff I have. If you guys could see the amount of things I have, and that's just in here, not my Jack and Jill bathroom, my other craft room, every single door in my house, my garage, my dining room, yeah. I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> Running out of space, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty to look at. It makes me happy. Look at all these roses down here. Like, I want to leave those there, but I, I need to use them for something. But look how pretty they are. Anyways, jibber jabbering on. So, again, if you guys are still here with me, thank you so much. I'll have some pictures up at the end of this video of, you know, real studio lights since I can't seem to get this stuff figured out just yet. Um, so we'll have all that taken care of. And, again, thank you guys so much for everything. I really appreciate you guys more than you know. More than you could possibly know. So, let's keep this going. It's a good thing. I help you, you help me. Sounds good? Good. All right. Well, until next time, guys, uh, take care of yourselves and each other. You've done a great job with that so far. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Happy crafting. Bye-bye.